action. Hi, I'm David Straw with Royal Cup Coffee. We're, we're at the uh, 2010 National Restaurant Association show in Chicago, and we want to talk to you today about single-serve coffees and really individualizing um, coffee and coffee brewing. We've got several different techniques and, and machines here that we, we're going to show you how to use. Um, first, we'd like to show you We've got some of our HC Valentine micro roasted coffee. It's an artisan roast, one bag at a time. And we're gonna show you a, a French press um, method first on, on how to, to uh, brew in a French press method. First, we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna look, we've got the uh, Ethiopian Duke Chef Hat. This is gonna be a real um, coarse grind. We're going to steep for four minutes, so the coffee's got to be very coarse. Um, we want to make sure we have the, the sweet part of the coffee and, and no bitters um, in, in the taste. As you can see here, very chippy, coarse grind for our French press. cap this, we're going to let this steep uh, for four minutes before we pour. Alright, next, next we're going to um, show you uh, a very new method from Bond, the uh, trifecta. And Carolyn's going to tell you more about, about the new Bond system. Hi, I'm Carolyn McDermott with Bond. What we're looking at here is the trifecta. It's called the trifecta because it represents the three phases of wetting phase, the extraction, and then the hydrolysis. So in each of these phases, you set the machine so it does the best job possible for that coffee. We say that it unlocks the nuances. How it actually works is that you take the pre-measured amount of coffee, you put it on the top of the grinder, and you take your trifecta handle, put it over here, grind right into the handle, Put it into the trifecta, set your recipe, brewing into a 12 ounce portion, and then you hit brew. After you hit brew, there's a pre-infusion phase. That's when the water's coming in and wetting the coffee grounds. That's that first phase of wetting. From there, then we will go into the brewing stage after the pre-infusion. In the brewing phase, the coffee and the water are together, and it's programmable. It's about 45 seconds long, and in that, there'll be turbulence and resting, and turbulence and resting. And that's also programmable. So right now, we're in the agitation, where you have the mixing, so all the coffee grounds are getting wet. And that lasts about 45 seconds. Mixing action and then rest. At the end of that, you're going to see this wonderful press out phase. And in the press out phase, a cup of trifecta has a lot of body in it because it's going through a metal filter in the bottom of the cup. So you get some great coffee oils that get body. We're still in the mixing phase. And now we're starting to press out. The press out is also controllable, the amount of time and the amount of force that the coffee leaves the handle assembly. And with that you have trifecta coffee, which is a 
new platform in brewing. It's an air infusion platform. It's not drip coffee. It's not espresso. It's something new. It's a full cup. Hi, I'm Ben Pitts, Vice President of Food Service and Hospitality with Royal Cup. And the third method of single serve or brew to order brewing that we're going to show you today is the true brew system or the cone brewing. And so this is single serve. Uh, what, what is really interesting is the current consumer trend of single serve and we're seeing that at home, we're seeing that in offices, you're seeing it in third wave coffee shops. And it's just a matter of time before it shows up in food service and hospitality. So we're interested to see how it plays out in food service. But this morning we want to demonstrate how we brew the coffee using the cone method. I've got a true brew system. Some of us call it the rail. We're going to use a filter. We've got an unbleached filter. I'm going to go ahead and pre-wet the filter just to sort of take away any of the taste that may get into the coffee from the filter. The coffee that we're using this morning is a fair trade Honduras coffee roasted in our HC Valentine plant. We've got a little bit of the coffee already ground here. Um, you wouldn't normally want to grind a lot in advance, but we're doing that uh, just for efficiency here at the show. But we're not letting the ground coffee sit open like this uh, for more than just a few minutes. So my filter is pre-wetted. I'm going to come in with about 30 grams or roughly one ounce of coffee to make one cup. Obviously we're using a lot of coffee here, but at retail the price point of this is going to be three dollars or more. Now one of the things that we want to try to create and you saw in the trifecta machine is turbulence in the brewing. Uh, it's very difficult to create turbulence, so the barista has to do it by hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this very hot water over the grounds, Six sort of a pre-wetting. And then I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. I'm going to let the coffee absorb the water initially, and I'm going to let the coffee bloom. If you notice this water kettle with the, the neck, uh, it's designed specifically for single cup pouring. So I'm going to start to pour slowly. And I'm trying to create as much turbulence as I can with my hand. You can see the coffee drifting through. So as we continue to drip out, why don't we move back to David's French Press and let's see how that coffee tastes. Like four minutes have gone by and our, our Ethiopian should be right um, to go ahead and, and plunge the coffee grounds down to the bottom. There's a screen in this French press and we'll have uh, the coffee on the uh, top here ready to serve. Very heavy body coffee. 